William Geddish is a partner at a Long Island law firm and a husband and a father who in his spare time is second assistant chief at Carl Place Fire Department. Nobody gets paid. Nobody. It's all volunteer, just like nearly every fire department on Long Island. I'd be lying if I said that the, that the rush of being at the front door of a fire isn't the most exhilarating thing in the entire world. But that fire in the belly that once meant waiting lists for volunteer firefighter candidates is flaming out. We're struggling. I think other people are struggling. To try to attract badly needed volunteers, this weekend the Carl Place Fire Department will hold its annual recruitment open house, Saturday at the local high school, Sunday here at the firehouse. Part of that event will be cutting up a car, doing an extrication drill on a car, um, so you'll get to see the jaws of life. We'll either hang out on a Sunday and watch football or guys will play video games together. It's not a big fancy firehouse they have here, but their sense of pride and accomplishment of risking their lives as volunteer firefighters is second to none. I, I don't know any other way. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. I never get tired of asking a volunteer firefighter how do they do it? You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> Thomas Skinner's day job is at the sanitation department in the city. His other mission, being a volunteer firefighter here in Carl Place. If it's something major, I'll, I'll wake up. My wife doesn't like it that much, but oh well. <laughs> like I tell her, you know, if, I had, if our house catches on fire, you know, we live in Nassau. We have two engines. Not everyone realizes Long Island residents enjoy a huge tax savings because of the men and women who volunteer their time and sometimes their lives to help make their communities a better place. Last week we went to a fire in Westbury. We were out of bed for almost two hours. Um, I come home, take a shower, get back to bed and, and wake up with my kids to make lunches in the morning. No capes, just heroes. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.